When it comes to substances our bodies excrete, there's one mysterious kind that makes us all cringe. Earwax. It can be ooey, it can be gooey, wet or dry, and come in all different colors. So what does this say about your health? And when do you need to be concerned enough to have a visit with your doctor? Well, we're breaking down everything you need to know. But first, what is earwax anyway? Earwax is made up of dead skin cells and oil. It's produced in the outer part of the ear canal. And once the wax reaches the outside of the ear, it flakes off. However, most people try to get rid of their wax on the reg, using things like cotton swabs, fingernails, bobby pins, or even their keys. Ouch. But listen up. Earwax is actually something our body needs. It's essentially your body's defense system for your ears, pushing unwanted wax, oil, and skin debris through the canal to the outer ear, where they get the boot and flake off. It can also help to catch dust, sand, debris, and foreign objects from entering into your ear due to its sticky and moist properties. But when it comes to earwax, if you see something funky, say something. Let's go through the earwax chart. Earwax that's yellow, orange, and even brown is totally normal. Not necessarily attractive, but normal. And did you know the darker the color, the older the wax? There's nothing wrong with that, but other colors, not so much. If you see streaks of red, that could indicate a bloody scratch or some kind of injury inside the ear. If you see green, that may warrant you a trip to the doctor, as it could mean there's an infection. If you see black wax, that may mean there is a buildup or impacted wax. Definitely worth flagging to your doctor. Now, when it comes to removing earwax, how should you proceed? The simple answer is just let it be. Putting any objects inside your ear only increases the risk of pushing the wax further in. But if your wax buildup is really irritating you, visit your doctor to have your ears cleaned out. You can also create a mixture that's half hydrogen peroxide and half water, a more gentle approach than inserting something like cotton swabs into your ears. All you have to do is lie down on your side, then use a dropper or gently pour a little in your ear. Let it sit for about 10 seconds, then flop your head over to let it drain. Be sure to dry off your ear completely. And just remember, if you're concerned with what you see or feel the need to clean your ears regularly, be sure to contact your healthcare provider. That's what they're here for.